Hey Cabs, this is Sergio, also known as Genesis38 from VT Forums. Uh, you messaged me about uh, adding ball rolling sounds to a table, so I'll give you a quick little tutorial without getting too much into depth. Uh, the first, the first thing I suggest that you do uh, before you do any of this is there's a table um, which is I think Tommy, uh, Tommy or the Who by by Tommy or something like that. I'm just trying to see here. Um, yeah, I think it's the Who's Tommy pinball. Um, I find that it has the best flipper ball rolling sounds and slingshots that are true to the real uh, machine. So I, what I suggest you do first um, is go into that table. Now I'm choosing that table because that's what I like. You don't have to use it. You could use one that you like. Um, but what you want to do is obviously open up the table in, in the editor. Now it's going to boot up the table, so we're going to get out of here. Uh, what you want to do um, is go into your table menu on the editor, as you see here, and go into Sound Manager. Um, take the ball drop, uh, you know, the, the ball rolling sounds, the flipper sounds, whatever it is you want to uh, use from this table, export it. And, and by that, I mean you take, for example, the ball rolling sounds, you select all the ones that you want to uh, export, and you basically go export. Uh, in this particular case, I would use um, a folder on my desktop. I would name it as such, um, and then export all your sounds in there. So that's the first thing. It makes it a lot easier. Once you have that done and you want to reuse those sounds um, in another table that may be missing them or you may not like the way it sounds, um, you would basically open up the table. I'm going to use, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to use... Um, you know, let's use uh, Judge Dredd here, for example. Um, and you would do the exact same thing, but in this particular case, you go into Table, you go into Sound Manager, and you use, um, you know, you select the sound you want to change. For example, in this particular case, I, if I don't like the flipper up sound, I would just go Reimport from. Uh, are you sure you want to replace the selected sound? I would say yes. In this particular case, I would use, here's my Tommy sounds already that I've set up, um, you know, on my desktop. And I would just use, for example, flipper one, um, and then hit open, and it automatically changes the sound. For the ball rolling sounds, what I suggest you do is delete all of them first. Um, otherwise, you'll have to replace, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, my voice is cracking here. You'll have to replace one by one, which is tedious. So you know what I do? Um, I just end up deleting all of them first. There's 13 sounds in there. Make sure you pay attention to that. In this particular table, there are 13. Others could be less. You delete them, and then you re-import them again from the Tommy table. Um, in this particular case, I don't know why it's not allowing me to, uh, but it would be the exact same thing. You would be basically, uh, actually, no, sorry. You would hit the import button, not re-import. Once you delete the sounds, you go into import. You select all the ball rolling sounds from 0 to 13. You click open. And as you see here, it's in the shaded gray area. All the new ball rolling sounds um, are in, added to Judge Dredd. That's it. Uh, once that's done, you click OK. Um, and then, of course, you know, you can go file, uh, you know, save the table. I'm not going to because I already have my Judge Dredd set up the way I want to. Um, and that's all there's to it. Uh, you can do this with any table. Um, unfortunately, I think, you know, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, th there's a lot of nice tables that are being released. You know, the members are putting a phenomenal amount of work into them. But I always found the sounds are kind of, of, of missing. And I know people add... Uh, you know, the, the contactors, the solenoids for the real feel. I like SSF personally, the way I have my cap set up. And I like the way, um, you know, the sounds um, come out from the, the Tommy table. And that's what I tend, tend to use uh, on all of mine. Do they sound the same? Yeah, they do. But then again, if you add solenoids and contactors, all your tables are going to sound the same anyway, right? So uh, that's about it. <clears throat> I hope that helped. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, hit me up on uh, on the uh, on the forum, and I'll try to help you out. Cheers, my friend. Thanks for watching.